Today on the channel, from the power of the force, the Imperial Speeder Bike. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back again for our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. And today we got a fun one, one I had as a kid. I had the older version as well, and we're talking about the speeder bike. But for all your modern day Star Wars needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Now, the speeder bike is possibly my favorite Star Wars vehicle of all time. It's simple, it's not huge, it's not big, it's small, it's quick, it's fast. Return of the Jedi, we noticed it, and that was where we first uh, were talked about the speeder bike, I guess you would say. And uh, I always vision back to my childhood when I was, you know, six, seven, eight years old. My buddy, I would go to his house and play, and in his backyard, he had a swing set, play set, like most kids do, except it was all Star Wars. And you got to ride on the speeder bike in a swing. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, hanging out on that speeder bike. And he also had a, a big Newfoundland. I think he had two Newfoundlands, and we used to ride them in the backyard. Like they were, uh, you know, a do-back or something like that. So, little childhood memories in there every once in a while. But the speeder biker playset, swing set out in the backyard was the coolest thing ever. Uh, I did have the original speeder bike from Kenner back in the Return of the Jedi when I was really, really a little kid. Uh, which, actually, this was the same thing. And like most Power of the Forest vehicles, they just re-released those old ones. Maybe a little different paint skews, stuff like that. Just make it a little bit different. The speeder bike uh, trooper, definitely a different figure. Uh, I remember not being a big fan of this one in here. We'll see once we get it open. But like most uh, things we unbox here, let's take a look at the packaging first. Then we'll unbox it and we'll talk about it and see how it goes. Very cool. I remember seeing this one on the store shelves at Toys R Us when it came out and saying, Oh, I, I have that. And I used to use my old school one with this. So then I had two speeder bikes uh, as a kit. You got the window box for the trooper there. Love that orange, yellow, reddish package on these. I always thought that was very good. Top of the package, nothing real fun. You got the side there. A little glamour shot action. Same glamour shot action on the other side. Bottom and the top are the same. And, of course, the back of the box. So it shows a little about what the product does. Uh, it does break apart. Uh, I will say as a kid, I hated that it broke apart because it always would break on you when you're just trying to touch it. I remember saying, I wish this would just stick together. Uh, and that's what they've done in modern day speeder bikes. And we'll get to that a little later as well. Uh, Imperial speeder bike. Pilot height, 1.8 meters is the average. Uh, Imperial scout trooper is the status classification human affiliation galactic empire. Weapon of choice, Imperial issue blaster pistol, which is an extremely small pistol. Always looked funny to me. Vehicle of choice, Aerotex 74Z military speeder bike. Vehicle length, 3 meters. Speed, 500 plus kilometers per hour. Oh my goodness, and then there is a long... I always say I love a blurb on the packaging. I'm a big fan of that. I think it should be everywhere. This has about a, uh, a page worth of stuff to talk about. I mean, it's unbelievable how much is in here. We got four paragraphs. I mean, it goes above. It goes above and beyond what I'm asking for. And I I appreciate that as a kid reading that. You'd spend the time with the box. It was the whole thing. And uh, I'm not going to read all this because it'll be literally four or five minutes as I read all this stuff. But uh, we do got some other stuff on here. We got uh, showing other figures in the Power of the Force. The uh, ATST. We got the uh, Millennium Falcon. The X-Wing. Shows what the product does. Maybe I'll take a picture of this and put it in the graphics if you really want to read all the stuff about the speeder bike. But it is cool. But, man, it's uh, really taking what I say to heart beyond. Uh, so very cool there. But let's open him up. Let's see what's going on with this little speeder bike. There it is. Part of it. Figure out. There he is. Note, parents should remove and discard fastening devices. Okay, well, I'm officially a parent, so I'm on the case. There it is. Never really liked this figure just because of how he's, I don't know, posed. Can I get this? Let's see. This should probably unbuckle very easily, and of course it does. Uh, over time, see you later. Starts wearing out. I don't know. I get why he's formed like this so he can ride that bike, but he just always looks strange. 
But there he is, speeder bike pilot. You know exactly who that is. Uh, outside of the traditional stormtrooper, I always say this is the most iconic uh, trooper in for me in Star Wars. I don't know about you. You guys can tell me. Tell me what you think. Let's see. There's one. There's two. Parents should remove and discard fastening devices. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. See you later. Ooh. Old, old twist ties. Old as time. Starting to degrade. Starting to need to recycle. Clean up the mess here a little bit. Oh, yeah. There it is. We got half of it. We're almost there. Let's get the other half out of the baggie. There it is. I remember just, like I said, I remember being frustrated. This thing would break apart my hand when I was playing with it as a kid. I'd say, come on, why can't, why can't this thing just stay together? It was always frustrating. But very cool. Very, very cool. You guys know, this uh, really brings me back to my childhood. This is one of the Star Wars toys, like I said. You could always play with your bigger toys, but sometimes, you know, you're traveling or whatever, you can't bring the Millennium Falcon with you. The speeder bike, you could. And I'm surprised uh, I never lost more things of my speeder bike. But there he is. Look at that. Very iconic. Still fits well. This would fit traditional with the uh, vintage collection right now. I think this would fit in. You can make it work. does come with stickers. I'll put those on uh, outside the video. Get rid of the box. See you later. And we got instructions, but I, you know, like I said, I've owned a few of these in my time. I didn't even need these instructions. I'm a, a pretty good pro. Uh, but yeah, you know, and then it pops up. There's a little button on the back. There it is. Oh, you know, he went down, and that's that's what happens. But uh, very easy to put back together. Very, uh, yeah, just really takes me back to my childhood with this one. A lot of time spent playing with my speeder bikes, and I remember when this came out, I said, oh, now I got two. I believe this one's a more of a brownish shade the white one was the traditional one it was a little more whiter i believe that's at least what my memory tells me oh we do got these kenner pamphlets in here we always love these things too uh, it gives you a, a peek of the future lines that are coming out stuff you need gargoyles everything i mean i wish these things still existed i think they were really cool i remember just finding new lines and finding stuff i wanted to buy back in the day from these things so very very cool there how about we do a little comparison? It's really no comparison. I mean, if you're going to choose one, we know which one you're going to choose. But here's the brand new Mandalorian Edition speeder bike, uh, Amazon exclusive with child. Very, very cool. This is really awesome. But, you know, for what it is, you know, 15 years back, this is what we had. And uh, we can see the evolution of toys right here in speeder bikers. Um, but both very, very solid. Both same concept, just different uh, way of going about it. Um, but I, I think if we had to choose, hey, you get to choose one speeder bike, which one you want, you're going to choose this one all day long. I am fairly certain. But still cool for me, very reminiscent of my childhood. I like this a lot. I'm not opposed to getting a couple more of these if I find them on a good deal, just because. Why not? So there you have it. There's our daily Star Wars video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me your comments. Did you ever have that playset? Did you ever see that playset? Did you ever own this? Did you own this? You tell me in the comments. And for Kyle, that's me. And the speeder bikers, that's them. We'll see you guys all real soon.